Classic TV fans, Rick Nanji here. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about Star Trek, The Next Generation. I'm so happy to be able to say that because to be honest, this is my favorite Star Trek ever. I would also say that Deep Space Nine is a close coming second, but today I'm going to be talking about Patrick Stewart in his role as Jean-Luc Picard possibly one of the best captains ever. In my opinion, the best captain ever. And it's pretty crazy to think about the creator of Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, being not too happy or not super accepting of Patrick Stewart as the captain. I'll tell you a little bit about what all of this meant, but before I get into it, I do wanna let you know that by the end of the year, my goal, 2022 is to reach 150,000 subscribers. So the only way I can do that is for you to hit the subscribe button. It is absolutely free and it's a great way to support the channel. Thank you so much and let's get right to it. Stewart recalls that his audition with Roddenberry didn't go as smoothly as planned. Now, these are his words and he says that it was very odd with Gene because he was dragged into the audition for him in his house, in his living room actually, the morning after he'd be doing some type of work at UCLA, the university. Now the meeting lasted about six minutes and it was perfectly clear to Patrick Stewart that he was not wanted in the room any longer than those six minutes. It was Gene who said, what the H-E double L hockey sticks. I don't want a bald middle-aged Englishman. Could you believe that Roddenberry saying that about Patrick Stewart, who is super amazing. Maybe he didn't feel the vibes initially, but the story continues. Now we can also dive deeper into Rick Berman, who was the executive producer of The Next Generation. Now he said that the top runner for the role before Picard was Stephen Mock. Now Mock turned down Roddenberry when he was offered the role. Now, if you look at a list, a 1987 Paramount casting list, it actually said that other actors were also considered for the role of Picard. Now, Belgian actor Patrick Bukow was one of the people who was on the top of the list. Now, he auditioned for Roddenberry, and the audition went very well. Now, he, that is, Patrick Bacow and Stewart were considered the top contenders for the role at the time, but Gene Roddenberry preferred the Belgian, that is Bucau, feeling he was a better fit for a French-born character versus the Englishman. It was producer Robert Justman who brought Stewart in, having seen him perform at UCLA. Now, Justman and Berman, both of the executive producers, they campaigned really hard for Stewart to get the role, but Roddenberry continued to resist. Stewart recalled that there was somewhere in the cellars of Paramount where there was a post-it note that said, I do not want to hear Patrick Stewart's name mentioned ever again, and it was signed Gene Roddenberry. Even though Roddenberry was so resistant, yes, Patrick Stewart was cast in the role to everyone's, I guess, everyone became happy about it. I mean, everyone loves Patrick Stewart in this role. Although Gene, this was shortly before he passed away, he still came on set about once a week, maybe even twice a week, according to Patrick Stewart. And he said that it depends on who the cast were during that time. Now, he would catch up with Gene and he gave him an expression which said, what in the world is this guy doing in my show? It was clear he couldn't understand why Stuart was there. Now, for those of you who are curious about the character of Picard and where he came from, well, this all came from Roddenberry and the thoughts that he had on a little piece of paper. He actually pulled it out one day. It was this beaten up piece of paper and it was just written on there that he wanted the captain to be like Horatio Hornblower. Now, while Stewart and Gene Roddenberry were having lunch one day, Patrick Stewart asked him, Gene, help me. I mean, where did the idea for this character come from? Can you give me any connections that I can help and build upon the character when I'm acting and so forth? This is where Roddenberry took out the little piece of paper with Horatio Hornblower written on it, and he mentioned, it's all there. So if you really want to know, the character, as it turns out, was really based on Horatio Hornblower but he was in a spaceship and not in an ocean going ship. And according to Patrick Stewart, he always felt that Gene Roddenberry was never really satisfied 
that Patrick Stewart was chosen for the role. Unfortunately, Roddenberry's health began to deteriorate in the time of the beginning of The Next Generation, and he passed away in 1991, never really to be able to see the complete success of the series The Next Generation, which many say even blew the original series out of the water, and how Stewart became so loved in the role. This actually begs a question. If Roddenberry would have seen the whole entire The Next Generation series from beginning to end and saw the reception, the good reception, the amazing reception that the series received, would he have embraced Stewart in the role? Or would he have been really stubborn and said, hey, no, I still don't like you in the role. You're not the perfect fit. It doesn't matter that the show is a success. I think there should have been another guy in this part. Or no, would he have come around full circle and maybe changed his mind? I want to know your thoughts down below. Did you ever hear that Patrick Stewart was never really liked by Gene Roddenberry in regards to playing the part of Jean-Luc Picard? I really want to know your thoughts down below, especially all the Trek fans out there. I really, really love Star Trek, and I never really knew whether it could find a home in this channel. But I would like to open it up to the channel. I think a lot of you may be Star Trek fans and a lot of new people may find the channel as well. So I am really excited to be able to make this video and to bring it to all of you. Thank you so much for the support as always. Always better yourself and most importantly, be hopeful. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon, especially my diamond tier patrons. New patron Gerard D, David D, Citizen Kane 359, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally, and Vito L. Make sure to check the links in the description to see how you could be on this list as well.